So today we are in Utah. We're actually filming a proposal, which is gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, so I thought I'd take you guys along for the adventure. But yeah, we're gonna be hiking this direction to a place called Stewart Falls. And so right now I'm at like a ski resort type place. And since I don't have cell reception per se, um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky finding my way. I have been enjoying this hike by myself, you know, it's like probably the shortest hike known to man, but I just, I don't know, I recently turned 28 and I still feel like I'm like a teenager or something where, you know, I have a car, I can go do things, but I just, I don't feel as independent as I sometimes feel like I want to be. So, uh, got to the waterfall and prepared for what would be the best proposal video, film, drone thing ever. And I failed. I can't believe it. So somehow, and I don't know how, I freaking missed the whole actual proposal. We had to actually remake it because, like, I missed it. He went up on the hill instead and things got turned around. And so I got confused and was searching for him on the drone, but I could not spot him. And then it wasn't until I saw him waving his hand when I landed the drone to try to see if I could contact him because there was no cell service. And then he waves at me and it's already over. <laughs> so I got a couple shots of them in the waterfall and stuff, uh, but we had to end up recreating it, which is my fault. But I think uh, if anything that I've learned, it's that um, some moments are best uncaptured and unfiltered and I'm sharing this failure of mine because I think it's important to learn from your mistakes and it's important to share that with other people that maybe they can learn from your mistakes and doing wedding photography and videography I've learned a ton and each time I've gotten much much better and I'm off to my next adventure